Hey guys, let's cover a buttercream cake with some marbled fondant. To start, I have some gum tex or Tylos powder mixed into all of my fondant. You sprinkle a little bit on there, knead it together, and it's just gonna help it be stretchier and it's not going to tear. I will link this in the description for you. So we are doing purple fondant for this. I have light purple fondant and then I have other shades of purple. And what I'm doing, I'm just rolling them into little logs and the light purple is gonna be the main color. And then I'm taking the other shades and putting it on either side, trying to not have the dark colors touch. So I'm trying to do alternate dark and light. Good, and now I'm twisting either end and then fold one end up and one end down and I'm doing it again. So I'm twisting it, roll it out and then fold one end up and one end down and do it one more time, twist it together. And you don't wanna do this too much cause you don't want the colors to start to blend. You wanna keep this marbling look to it. So I'm just twisting it and again, one up, one down. And then I'm just going to flatten that into a little circle. Sprinkle down some cornstarch and let's roll this out. And look how pretty that looks. So I got my cake out of the fridge. The icing is solid, I'm not gonna mess it up. I have some piping gel I'm wiping all down the sides and then I dip my paintbrush into water and thin it out just a little bit, wipe the board. And then I'm gonna see which side I like. I think I like the other side better and I'm going to lay that on top. Now remember that icing is solid. I got it out of the fridge, I'm not gonna mess this up. And then I'm pulling it out at the bottom to eliminate the wrinkles. And I have a video where I go into full detail on how I cover cakes and fondant and I will link that in the description. So you just want to make sure that you have no wrinkles at the bottom and then press it all the way down to the board. Now I'm just cutting the excess off and then I'm going to take my fondant smoother and I'm pressing it against the side of the cake and then I'm slamming the fondant smoother down to the board to really seal it down to the cake board. Now I'm using my weird pinch technique and I'm lightly pinching the edges to get it sharp and I'm just lightly pulling it together like that. I am not squeezing really hard. If you do that, you're gonna make fingerprints all over your fondant. You don't wanna do that. If you have a different technique to get sharp edges on your fondant, feel free to do that. And then I'm just taking my fondant smoother and smoothing it all out. And then I like to take a piece of fondant, dip it in cornstarch and use the fondant to smooth the fondant. It makes it so much easier to smooth it out. Take your pizza cutter and trim off the excess. And there is the beautiful marble fondant covered cake. 